Ari, before we start this video, I would actually like you to download the game capture software itself if you have a capture card. And also for demonstration purposes, I would like you to download Streamlabs. Uh, you could also use download OBS since it's very similar, but I'll link both of them in the description below. All right, now that you have the software downloaded, go to game capture settings. Once you go here, look for PlayStation 4 and keep it as PlayStation 4. This game, the software itself has not updated for PS5, but PlayStation 4 works. I would honestly copy my settings. So I have a budget laptop. So if I put allow 60 frames per second, it gets all finicky. And if I go high quality, it gets finicky. But if you have confidence in your laptop, I would go to allow 60 frames per second and put the best possible. For picture audio and profiles, you don't have to worry about that. Just worry about the capture for now. All right, the first thing I actually want you to do is set up your PS5, go to the home menu and scroll all the way up and go to settings. Once you go to settings, go to system then go to HDMI and I want you to turn off the enable HDCP. This is exactly how you set up the PS4. I'm not sure why you have to do this extra step, but it's mandatory if, if you want to get your recording set up working. Hello people, this is Squash Corner and we're going to set up the Elgato to the PS5. Let's get started. All right, first step to do is after you open your capture card, it will come with an HDMI cable. With that HDMI cable, the first thing I'll do is connect it to the console itself. The next step is I'll use the end of that HDMI cable and connect it to the import socket of the Elgato capture card. For your visual learners out there, this is how it looks where the wire is connected. Now the next thing is you'll use your other HDMI cable, connect it to the out port, and the out port HDMI will connect to your monitor. So because I use my monitor as my TV, that's where it's connected to. So you go to the back of your monitor and connect it for that socket. I don't want to lose you guys, so here's how it looks in the back of my monitor, right in the HDMI socket. Last but not least, you want to put your USB 3.0 into your laptop. Make sure it's a 3.0 socket that you put it into. The next step is, you know how it has the socket here? This is where you connect the last part. Right where it says the in for HDMI, right next to here, you plug it in and everything now is fully completed. All right, now we're here. After you put the HDCP, changing it for, to the PS5, and once you download the software, you should be having your game shown up. If it doesn't work, and if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comments and I'll do the best I can to help out, but it should be working. And right here, you could record. Remember, if you're using a mic or a headset to turn on the commentary. And yeah, this is pretty much the basic setup to have the PS5 recording on your Elgato. So now I booted up Streamlabs OBS, and then the first thing I want to do is add a new scene. Add a new scene, done. Once you go to your new scene, go to Sources, go to Plus, and we want to find the capture card. By going to Video Capture Device, it tells you it works for webcams, Logitech webcams, and capture devices. Go to Add Source, and it will try to grab what it's reading. So now it's reading the game. Put Add Source. And there we go, it works. And if you're able to click on this, you're able to adjust the shape. The reason you would want to adjust the shape is like for my actual streaming overlay, I have to shrink it for it to fit. I really hope this helps you. And if you have any questions again, feel free to ask. All right, dudes, that was pretty much my quick tutorial. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to put my Discord. If you guys join and ask questions, I'll do my best. Also, you could put in the comments. And thank you so much for enjoying the video. I hope this gives you value. And I bid the all farewell. See ya, and good night, dudes. Fly me to the